Hey Wave Swimmers, Coach Courtney here. My intention with this video is to help you out with goal setting. I know right now things are weird. Uh, you probably had some swimming goals you were working on and you might feel disappointed or discouraged that you can't work on those specific goals right now. So let's set new goals to adapt to the changes in our lives. There are so many different ways to make yourself happier, healthier, calmer, stronger, kinder, whatever you want to be. You can set goals around physical fitness, mental fitness, creativity, academics, or learning a new skill. A note here before we get started, please be kind to yourself. Your worth as a person does not depend on how many goals you set or achieve. Your worthiness is built in. That will never change. Setting and achieving goals is just a way to take control of something in your life that you want to change for the better. So, how do we choose a goal we want to achieve? Step one, find a quiet place to think. I like to go outside and sit under a tree, but you do you. Bring the worksheet that goes with this video. Pick just one goal that's important to you to start and write it down. Since we're mostly stuck at home right now, I think it's important to focus on short-term goals that we can use to change our situation right now. The most important thing is that this is your goal to choose. So think of a goal that really matters to you. For example, I've been experiencing some anxiety lately and I want to start a new daily practice that will help me feel calmer. I'm going to use this as my example while we're going through the steps, but your goal might be completely different. Maybe you just want to learn a new TikTok dance every day. I'm not here to judge. This is your goal. Be who you are. Step two, figure out your why. What does that mean? Well, your why is the reason why your goal is important to you. Be honest with yourself. For example, one really good reason why I would want to help myself feel calmer is because everything in my life gets easier when I'm calm. Remembering your why will help you stay focused on your goal even when you're struggling. Step three. Pick something that you can do every day that will help you get closer to your goal. To start out, just pick one thing. Write it down. For example, I know that I feel calmer after I do a dryland workout. So to work toward my goal, I will start by doing a dryland workout every day. Remember to be realistic about where you are right now. Start with something you know for sure you can do today and you can add more little by little. For example, I will start by doing a dryland workout every day this week and then add 10 minutes of yoga each week after that. Next, be specific. Write down exactly what you intend to do every day. For example, I'll do the Zoom dryland with the team every day, Monday through Saturday, and on Sunday, I'll repeat my favorite workout from the week by printing out the PDF from the website. Also, schedule time for it. Think about what time of day is the best time for you to work on your goal. For example, obviously the best time to do the Zoom dry land is when it's live, so that takes care of Monday through Saturday. Um, but on Sunday, I'll do my own dry land at 4 p.m because that's when I feel like it has the most powerful effect on my anxiety. All right, step four, act on your goal. It's time to show up for your goal every day. Try to lean on your habits instead of your willpower. In other words, build your goal plan into your daily routine so that you don't even have to think about doing it after a while. Uh, for example, I don't ask myself if I feel like doing dryland or not, which is a test of my willpower. I just hear my alarm go off at 345 
and I start my afternoon routine of refilling my water bottle, moving the coffee table out of the way, getting all my equipment ready, and setting up my screen for Zoom. Remember your why when you feel like you're struggling. You chose this, you want this, you can do this. All right, step five, check in with yourself honestly. Keep track of your progress by writing in a journal or a calendar or even using an app. For example, while I'm drinking water after the workout, I'll write in a journal the date and a few sentences about how I feel. That way I can track the days I'm sticking to my goal plan and I can see if it's working to help me feel calmer. Next, keep in mind that progress is the goal, not perfection. Being perfect every day just isn't realistic, but getting a little better every day is. Believe that you can and you can. Also, be honest with yourself about what's working and what's not. For example, if I notice that I skip my workout every day, that I eat pizza for lunch, I need to be honest with myself that eating a healthier lunch is actually an important part of my goal plan. And if something isn't working, that just means you get to experiment. Change one thing and see what happens. Step six, plan for obstacles. Think of some things that might get in your way and how you'll deal. For example, if I can't use the living room to do dry land for some reason, I'll go outside. If the weather is bad, I'll use my bedroom. Adapt your plan as you learn more about what works best for you. For example, maybe I'm feeling really scatterbrained going into the Zoom dry land and I figure out after a few weeks that for me, it just makes more sense to do yoga before the Zoom dry land instead of after it. And ask for help. You don't even have to wait until you're struggling to ask for help. You can ask now. Just explain why it's important to you and exactly what kind of help you need. For example, maybe I need to kindly ask a family member to turn down the TV volume so I can hear the dry land coach. And hey, maybe they say no, but that's okay because I already have two backup dry land spots to use, right? But maybe they'll say, yeah, you know what? I'm just watching a golf tournament that happened 15 years ago and you, on the other hand, are actively working on a goal that's very important to you. All right, step seven, celebrate your progress. Reward yourself for making progress toward your goal. You can give yourself bigger rewards for bigger progress, but don't wait for perfection to reward yourself. And share the progress, share your progress with the people that you love. It's good to feel proud of the work you've done and to talk honestly about how you are setting your goals and achieving them. Maybe you'll even inspire someone else. Okay, everyone, so there's a goal setting worksheet that goes along with this video for you to fill out about what matters to you. Remember that today we're focusing on things we can change right now. So short-term goals that you can achieve from home. Okay, that's all for today. Tomorrow at 5.30 p.m., Coach Mason will be doing a Facebook Live talk about sleep. So be sure to check that out on our WAVE Facebook group. All right, beautiful souls, thank you for tuning in. And remember that we're all in this together. All right, bye.